Hello everyone and welcome to Survivor Radio Network, your weekly nerd news. If you like this video, give us a like, consider subscribing, and join us on Discord. Everything we talk about this week will be linked below. Let's jump into it. Northern Lights. This new single-player survival experience has you stepping in the shoes of a forest ranger trapped on a remote Siberian wilderness island as you try to survive through massive blizzards, freezing cold, and dangerous predators. Experience harsh conditions with no manual and multiple stats to manage or slowly go insane. Find a way to escape in a massive 100 square kilometer breathing world. Northern Lights is available on Steam on December 14th. Collection of Saga Final Fantasy Legend. Experience the immensely popular Game Boy RPG series with Final Fantasy Legend 1, 2, and 3 now enhanced and improved on the Switch in one collection. Featuring adjustable screen magnification, compatibility with all normal Switch play modes, plus an additional vertical mode with the Joy-Cons removed. Relive the nostalgia of these Game Boy classics on December 15th for Switch. MXGP 2020. The official motocross championship game returns, featuring all the popular bikes, teams, and brands from the motocross world in a variety of tracks and environments. Challenge other players online in traditional races or customizable waypoint modes. MXGP rides on to PS4, Xbox, and PC on December 16th. Override 2 Super Mech League Over the top robot mech fighting returns with Override 2. Choose from over 20 robots including the iconic Ultraman and giant sized arenas with hazards and obstacles. Customize your character with cosmetics and attachments in the garage. Fight in career mode, ranked, king of the hill, free for all and more with up to 4 players in Override 2 on PlayStation, Xbox consoles, Switch and PC on December 22nd. Game Pass. Coming to Game Pass by the end of this month, we have EA Play on December 15th. If you haven't had your fill by now or want to experience it one more time, Skyrim Special Edition arrives also on December 15th. Also just announced to be coming soon are Among Us, Killer Queen Black, and the Yakuza series.
Unfortunately, Night City isn't as breathtaking as Keanu might have hoped for every user. Players on PS4 and Xbox One are experiencing a highly limited version of the game with fewer NPCs, lower overall graphics, and delayed texture pop-in. Even players on the next-gen systems and PC are having mixed experiences depending on the settings you have. There are also a large number of bugs still present in the game, although most are not major or game-breaking. CD Projekt Red has been releasing multiple hotfixes for all the platforms, but unless you have a high-end PC, or even if you do, you may want to wait for them to work out some of the early bugs and graphics problems before you give the game a go. Despite being highly praised today, even The Witcher launched with performance problems on consoles, but fortunately they were able to turn that around. Here's hoping they can do the same with Cyberpunk. That's it for games before the end of the year. Expect part two where we do a deep dive into the Game Awards and the Disney Investor Conference by next week. Let us know any games we missed, what games you're looking forward to, and don't forget to join us on Discord. I'm Dragon and this has been SRN Weekly Nerd News.